Hello YouTubers and welcome to another Disney Pixar Cars diecast review and today we're going to take a look at Race Team Sarge. So before we get right into the review, let me discuss something. So when Lightning McQueen took on a new paint job from Ramon, Sarge, along with Fillmore, Mater, and Luigi and Guido took on a Team 95 emblem on each of their doors. And they traveled by plane to Tokyo, Japan for the first race of the World Grand Prix by, and they cruised through the streets, watched a group of female Japanese fan dancers and watched sumo wrestling and went to the welcoming party at the Tokyo Museum. Sarge was even a pit crew member, member, member as part of Lightning McQueen's pit crew for the first race of the World Grand Prix and for the entire competition. And when Mater decided to leave the team back to Radiator Springs, he wrote a le farewell letter to Lightning McQueen and they were and he and the rest of his pit crew were very sad and they traveled to Porto Corsa, Italy to stay the night at to stay the night with Luigi's favorite uncle, Uncle Topolino. During the dance, Sarge tasted some ingredients, which are the same ingredients as back home. And when Fillmore replied that it's organic, Sarge called him a tree hugger, which was very funny. But what do you guys think? Was it very funny? Leave your thoughts in the comments down below. Anyhow, you know, Sarge remained as a member of Lightning McQueen's pit crew for the remainder of the competition in both Porto Corsa and in London. And when the, when the, the rest of the townsfolk from Radiator Springs came to London, because of Mater and Lightning McQueen, Sarge got in touch with the, got in touch with his friends from the from the British military to to help Finn McMissile and Holly Sheftwell defeat Professor Z and the Lemons. And Sarge was even present at Buckingham Palace when Mater revealed. Sir Miles Axelrod as the cold print uh, of the conspiracy involving All in All and the World Grand Prix, and when Mater was knighted by the Queen for his brave, who I don't have, for his bravery. And Sarge even wore the 95 emblem in the Cars 2 video game. And that is. It. So now, let's get right into the review. Here we've got his worried facial expression, his grill and headlights, and on the hood we've got the white star, and and on both sides we've got the number 984, 984, 98, 46, 73 on both sides. And on the right side, we've got his olive green rims on his purplish black off road tires and a Team 95 on his. light brown roof 
and sides and and on the back we've got the spare tire and his tail lights and license plate saying 41 WW2 and and on the right side similar design but completely different and and underneath it says Jeep which is copyrighted and that is it so now let's compare them to the regular Sarge both are olive green and have the light brown olive brown olive green brown rooftops and the star in the number 984673 on both sides of the hood but here are some differences the the regular sarge has an grumpy facial expression while the race team sarge has a worried expression and here are some other differences the US Army logo the race team race team 90 race team 95 emblem both have olive green on the sides of their blackish purple off-road tires both have the license plate saying 41 WW2 both have the spare tire at the back and the tail lights on the under here another difference of the undercarriage regular Sarge has says 42 willies and the race while well, the race team Sarge has Jeep underneath both are copyrighted and that is it so now let's pull up some of the other race team members we've got race team Fillmore race team Mater race team Guido and race team Luigi and Lightning McQueen with racing wheels or should I say WGP Lightning McQueen or Cars 2 Lightning McQueen and that is it the whole Team ni Team 95 I've, the whole Team 95 so what do you guys think which version of Sarge is your favorite and which Team 95 member is your favorite also leave your thoughts in the comments down below and if you if you have enjoyed this video please leave a like and subscribe for more also, don't forget to leave any suggestions of which car of the past from the car collection video should I review next in the comments down as well. well check out more previous videos and consider the support by viewing and subscribing. I would really appreciate it very much. I hope to see you guys next time for another review, so please stay tuned. Goodbye now!